Good evening, everyone. Lauren Richardson in the Channel 3 Forecast Center and hope everyone got to enjoy that beautiful weather that we had once again today. Although this afternoon we did see some overcast skies and some showers here and there. But tomorrow we're looking like another day of sunshine on tap tonight. It is going to be chilly, though, in a lot of areas we are going to be near the freezing mark of 32 degrees. And as mentioned, a sunny Sunday, but we've got some changes on the way. Wet and windy conditions Monday to Tuesday. We could be seeing some potential potentially damaging winds as well as very heavy rainfall. So we'll get to that in a second, but the Doppler radar now is looking nice and clear. We're really not seeing any showers anymore. Everything is looking pretty good and it's going to look uh, basically like this for tomorrow. Those high temperatures today, we got into the upper 50s in some spots, especially along the shoreline, 57 New Haven, 55 in Bridgeport, 56 in Hartford. That's pretty good considering the fact that our highs usually this time of the year are in the upper 40s. Those temperatures Right now, though, we are starting to dip into the 40s. Tonight is going to be a colder night, at least than we've experienced the past couple nights, so it is going to feel chilly. Those wind speeds at the moment, they are coming in. You can see from the north, and they are a little bit light, but along the shoreline, they're picking up as well. Lows for tonight, mostly clear, a colder night. As mentioned, 33 degrees, 34 uh, in some areas, and near 32, the freezing mark in others. Those highs for tomorrow, we are going to be in the mid-50s in the Hartford area, so this is actually Actually a little bit warmer than we experienced today, but along the shoreline, it might be a little bit cooler. So uh, you could see uh, the Goodwin Park tonight, that Holiday Light Fantasia event going on. Uh, if you are planning to go and it is looking like a great event, we are going to be in the 40s, so make sure you bring a warm jacket. Futurecast showing us throughout the day tomorrow. As mentioned, it's going to be nice and clear and sunny. No rain, hardly any cloud cover as well, but that is going to change dramatically Monday as we are watching the storm system to the west of us. So some low pressure building is going to bring some rain into our area and it could be very heavy at times, especially throughout the afternoon. So this is a look at 2 p.m. Of course, those winds too are expected to be very strong. We could be seeing gusts up to potentially 50 miles per hour. So that could even be damaging. But uh, you could also see those rainfall totals too. Uh, right now, a lot of the models are showing about an inch, maybe even an inch and a half in some areas. So we'll be keeping you updated, of course, on that. You can actually see in the eastern part of the state, it looks like we're almost at two inches. And checking in on our seven day forecast, those temperatures very mild for this time of the year. So almost 60 inland on Monday, even though we do have that rain and windy conditions. And then Tuesday, we're still looking at temperatures that are going to be in the 50s. Now, after Tuesday, though, and that rain clears out, that's when we're looking at temperatures that are going to remain in the 40s for Wednesday and Thursday. But we're going to be seeing a lot of sunshine. And then Friday, we get back into the 50s. Saturday, 49 degrees.